As they slip, just get the tip off underway. Connor last jumping center for the Tigers. It is Sunrise Academy out of Wichita, the opening shot. It's rebounded on the weak side by Parker Folks. Tigers start with Nate Livey, six foot junior. Connor last is said jump center. He's a six foot junior. Then you have Brigham Glaves, a six foot junior. The turnover for Sunrise. They'll take it back the other direction. Mason Albert, Parker Folks, the remaining two starters for the Tigers. Alberg, a 6'4 senior, and Folks, a 6'0 senior. For Sunrise, it is Cedric Payne, a 5'7 sophomore. Josh Dunn, their leading score was 22 a game, a 5'10 junior. Alex Wyatt, 19 plus a game, a 6'1 junior. Jeremy DeVoe and Javier Silva, the starting lineup. Silva, 6'2 sophomore. DeVoe, a 6'1 junior. First free throw is missed here by Sunrise, and we're scoreless through 30 seconds. Again, we'll continue to keep you posted on what's happening there in Washington with the TVL. The second free throw does go in at the stripe for Cedric Payne, so one of two at the line. Tigers with a basketball, Sunrise in a man-to-man. Glaives has it left wing and deep. Connor last now out top to the right wing. It goes to Livey, trying to post it inside his folks. They'll swing it left to Glaives. Brigham Glaives at the top of the key. This is Livey with it, looking low. Nate had a 13-point performance. Oh, what a great wraparound pass. Terrific post. For Parker Folks, and he's on the board. The Tigers have a 2 1 lead. Pinned his defender on his hip on the high side, and Nate Livey just a little spin wraparound pass that put it on the money for Folks to drop off the defender and go up and put it down. Now the shot delayed, no good. Rebound, kicked to the bounds. That'll be, they say it stays with Sunrise on the baseline. Tigers lead here 2 to 1 early on. 648 remains in this opening quarter. Continue to look back in over at the TVL, but of course they are in between games right now, so look, Casper's got a little bit of a break before he'll bring you back more action. Here's a drive inside the paint, missing. Fingertip roll from Josh Dunn with Gill, and Parker Folks brings down the rebound. Back to the direction. Oh, what a look from Brigham Blaves and Connor Last. Good finish, gets his own rebound, though, and puts it back up and in. I mean, Brigham Blaves threw a dime through a crowd, and a bounce pass hit. Last right on the money, he missed the lay-in, but right back up with the board, six great ups, and he was able to knock back the stick back here. Here's a three-pointer left corner, no good. Rebound, Connor Last. Tigers on the move. Last all the way to the lane. He's going to take it up. Picked up, though, by Parker Folks and saved it bounce. Livey for three. That may have been partially blocked after the release by Sunrise. Tigers out and moving here early. They lead it 4-1. to one. Here's Sunrise back to the way. Buffalo drive on the baseline. Now mid-lane jumper is up and rimming off. Rebound, Connor Last brings it down. The Tigers have possession again at the three-point lead. Livey down court with it on the right sideline. He'll bring it back out deep to Folks. Parker, ball fakes, almost stripped. Now rips it through and gives it off to Connor Last. Connor, the dribble drive all the way to the lane, but they called him for a quick step outside, and the Tigers will turn it over, leading here 4-1. to 537 remains in the opening period. Play center with a 4-1 start here. They'll lead by three. Full day of action. If you missed it, the Lady Tigers earlier winning. They beat Republic County 46-31. They will take on the winner of Riley County Heston. I got to watch the first quarter of that ball game, Riley County and Heston girls. Did not get to see the finish of it, but it was 3-2 Heston after eight minutes of play. So try to get you a final on that as soon as we can and see if uh, Riley County advanced or if Heston moved on. Sunrise with a basketball, Tigers in a man-to-man. Dylan Moon, Levi Fitzenmeyer both have come on the court for play center. In the corner left with the basketball now is Sunrise, and he'll bring it back out between the rings, Josh Dunn. Dunn against Brigham Glaives. Dunn with a screen to the right side, uses it, works toward the paint, all the way in the lane, shot up, blocked by last. He had two blocks, if you'll remember, on Tuesday in the matchup that the, the Tigers played in the opening round against Hillsborough. And uh, this time it is a shot that is blocked, but they say a foul is first. That is the team's second free throw up and in by Josh Dunn. Four to two, Tigers lead it by a bucket. 5.15 remains here in the opening period. Second free throw missing, lead by Fitzmaier up in the air for the board. Nate Livey up the right sideline. Tigers have some numbers. Corner right, Dylan Moon puts the dribble down. Now to... The wing right, it goes to Libby outside to Fitzemeyer, around left to Glaive. Brigham outside deep to Connor Last. Now to Nate Libby. Libby looking to post inside for Fitzemeyer, not there. Glaive's good step through, baseline left to Boone. Dylan Boone will penetrate, kick out. Here's Last, Connor, outside to Glaze. Brigham stops to the baseline left. 
Foles there now brings it back out deep left to Livey. And now Livey all the way to the paint. Baseline jumper, Moon, fall away, just strong. Rebound, Glaves tipped it, but it's going to be picked up by Sunrise and back the other direction. In the corner right, three-point attempt on its way from Alex Wyatt. He threatened it. And the Tigers trail for the first time here tonight, 5-4. to 4.23 left here in the first period. Here's Nate Livey down court. Double team and a foul called on Sunrise as they reached in against Livey strong with the dribble. That's the ball with the long of the Tigers at the midcourt stripe. Anthony Atkinson, Annie King, and Dalton Aldizer both coming on now for the Tigers. And they'll leave in Dylan Moon, Nate Livey, and Levi Fitzenmeyer. Sunrise pressuring on the basketball right in front of us here. Moon goes to the backcourt to Altizer. Dalton the dribble, midway point of this opening quarter. Tigers trail by one, 5-4, as Sunrise has scored four unanswered. Altizer, good look inside. We've got a foul called in low against the Tigers away from the basketball, and they say Atkinson Inniking was called for a push to get open down in the lane. Looked like a really good post up by Anthony, and is called for a push to get open for what would have been a lay-in, but instead it goes back the other direction. 5-4 ball game. It'll be brought up the floor now by Josh Dunn. Dunn, again with the two high screens, works it right, stops, takes a three, kind of an afterthought, and it goes out of bounds to the Tigers. Airballed it short, and Clay Center has it back, trailing by a point. Nate Libby will bring it in bounds. Sunrise lost to Republic County in the quarterfinals on Tuesday, 55-52. Long down court pass. Atkinson, anything just a bit too much for Dylan Moon to get to. Good idea. Moon had flashed free down the court and just couldn't catch up with the pass down the line. So Sunrise back with the basketball. Brought across by Jonathan Powell. Powell goes right in deep to Dunn. Tigers man-to-man. Here's a pull-up jumper just outside the free-throw lane that drops in. Friendly touch for Jeremy DeVoe. And now the Tigers trail by three, seven to four. Up court pass from Atkinson and King to Pitzemeyer. Now all ties are all the way to the glass with the left. No good. Tipped up by Atkinson and King. Can't get it. Back up. Can't get it, but it's fouled. And Anthony's headed to the free throw line to shoot two. All ties are a streak down that left side, able to get to the glass. And once in there, didn't get the shot. Atkinson and King actually tried to stuff off the follow up and then was fouled on the second stick-back try, and now gets two free throws. First charity rattles in for the Ant-Man, and the Tigers trail now by 2-7-5. Mason Allberg back in, and Nate Livey comes on. 3-18 to work opening quarter. Tigers trail 7-5, but Anthony can cut it to a one-point ball game with the second free throw. It's on its way, short. Rebound comes off to Jared Brown. Down court quickly. Sunrise trying to push it down to the lane. Off-balance kick out, three-point try. Wyatt, and he has his second three of the first quarter. And now the Tigers trail 10-5. to five. Now short pass from Moon, looking for Allberg. And it's knocked out of bounds by Sunrise. Play center will keep possession. Parker Folks checking in. Levi Fitzenmeyer will come off. So the Tigers have Allberg, Folks, Moon, Altizer, and Atkinson Inniking on the floor. Three minutes to work here in this first quarter. Altizer, right wing to Dylan Moon. Moon, ball takes it a couple of times. Skip left. Atkinson, any king to the corner. Altizer, looks low. Instead, back outside Allberg. Now at the point is Spokes. Short corner right. Atkinson, any king. Now it goes to Altizer. Deep left for Allberg. Around to the wing left, it goes to Moon. Dylan, back outside. Atkinson, any king. The dribble off to Folks. Parker to Altizer. Tigers working it side to side right now, looking for a chance to go to the post. Dylan Moon steps in, left baseline. Atkinson in the game, skips it across the folks. Parker ball fakes it. Back out to Allberg. Face it to the right wing. This is Moon. 221 to work. Tigers trail 10 5 with the basketball. Allberg in the corner right. Wing right. Altizer fakes the three, goes to the lane, looking for Atkinson in the game. Now Anthony with a steal takes it down. Buck get a chance at a three point play. And they call this an offensive foul against Atkinson Inniking in the paint. As the steal went strong and was called, I had a three-point play going down, and instead they're going to call a foul on Anthony. And I do not see this one. Open court, two defenders. Atkinson Inniking gets the steal, goes to the lane hard, gets bumped, makes the shot, and gets called for the foul. So they wave the bucket off, and it's his second foul of the ball game. Huge turnaround against the Tigers. 
Dunn brings it across for Sunrise. Dribble drive. Off balance. So good. Rebound battles for It's off of Sunrise and goes back to the Tigers. So Atkinson Inniking has to come out after the uh, call reversal from what I saw anyway. Against pressure now. Tigers working it up the floor. Folks to Nate Libby who's back in. Libby attacks the paint. Baseline. Dylan Moon. Ball fake. Slides in underneath. Shot would go. Good look by Moon. The head and shoulder fake got a defender up in the air, but was unable to finish it down inside. And now Sunrise back to the direction. Riley County boys just played before uh, earlier here in this gym, and uh, they battled that came up short against Wichita Academy. Now Altizer has it stolen away from behind. And the Tigers have just swiped it on the other end defensively. A minute 24 to work. Done with it. Right side wing with the dribble. Hesitation move cut off by Folks. Now the pull-up jumper stripped away from Jared Brown. In the corner, Brown gets it back, lobs it back outside. Wyatt is at two threes with the basketball between the circle. Wyatt works it right. One to timeout. The coach calling. He might hear him in the background, and the officials do finally see him. And Sunrise takes the break. We'll break as well. A minute six to go first quarter. Place center Tigers trailing 10-5 here at Tabor Gym. Hey, Tiger fans, the lights are on, the team is ready, and the coaching staff has put together a successful game plan for tonight's game. Have you thought about your insurance game plan? This is Jim Gearhan with Farmers Union Insurance. Let us help put together a game plan for all your insurance needs. We cover everything from cars, trucks, boats, and motorcycles to homes, combines, and businesses. We can even help insure your retirement. Stop by and see us at 426 Lincoln Avenue, downtown Clay Center. A proud supporter of Tiger Athletics. 10-5 ball game. Tigers trail here by that five-point margin. A minute six to work. They led four to one, and then Sunrise is answered with a run of their own, and it's a 10-5 ball game now. It will be Sunrise basketball from their own timeout called on the sideline by Coach Ron Allen. Buffalo's Kobe Fields brings it in play. Now Cedric Payne goes left to Dunn. Dunn back out top. Payne wants a three just off the sideline. No good. Rebound tipped up. Miss. Folks battling. Libby has it. Tigers get it back. And now a bump in the backcourt against Sunrise will be their third team foul. The Tigers have been whistled for four thus far in its opening quarter. None bigger than the one against Anthony Atkinson. Inniking. It was a uh, it was a really unfortunate turn of events. His second foul. He made a great defensive play. Stole a throw. Looked like he's going to get a chance at a hoop and harm. And and it got reversed the other direction. Tigers with the basketball, down by five. Folks out top to Libby. Around right, it comes to Brigham Glaze. The corner right is Oliver. Face it back out to Altizer. Now out to Folks. Parker, ball fake, starts to dribble drive, kicks it left and deep to Libby. Now Oliver up top was going for a three, and we have a foul away from the, or on the basketball, actually, before the pass. It goes against Cedric Payne of Sunrise. In for the Buffaloes now is James Ming. 25 seconds to work first quarter. Tigers down by five. Libby hands it off to Altizer. The Tigers will go for a final shot here with 20 seconds to work. Dalton with the dribble against Payne now. As the five count was going to be on. Now he has it near the timeline with 13. Now they can start their play in motion at 10. Now down to nine. Against the zone, goes right on the wing to Livy with six, with five. Altizer at the buzzer for three, just strong. Bart Parker, folks, got a tip at it, but that will end the opening quarter. And the Tigers will trail 10-5 to five as we go to the break here at Paper Gym at the Georgia Classic at Hillsboro. Clay Center Tiger Basketball on KCLY is brought to you in part by Patterson Healthmark Pharmacy and Radio Shack. Wilbur Ellis Reed Seed and Feed. Citizens National Bank of Clay Center, Greenleaf, Concordia, and Belleville. By Republican Valley Irrigation. Ray's Apple Market. Glavin Ford of Clay Center. Union State Bank. TSI Kansas Incorporated Clay Center. And Central Valley Ag. When it's time to purchase a vehicle, you owe it to yourself to check out Glavin Ford of Clay Center. If you want the best deal possible, that's what Glavin Ford of Clay Center will do for you. Starting with our engines and oil changes for life, that's huge, folks. And your trade-in is worth more to us here at Glavin Ford 
So if you're upside down in your current vehicle, it's important that you shop Glavin Ford of Clay Center. Go to our website at glavinfordofclaycenter.com or come see us at downtown Clay Center. Glavin Ford of Clay Center, home of the engines and oil changes for life. Once again, we return to Hillsboro, the Trojan Classic. Also, Bill Casper, Dave Savage still with us at Washington, the Twin Valley League Tournament. We do have more coverage coming up there. It will be a boys matchup to uh, wrap up the evening tonight when uh, Washington County and Clifton Clyde will square off. That is a boys' consolation game, and we'll uh, keep you posted when they're set to go. They get close to tip-off. Parker folks down the side. He gets the foul. And Big Daddy's headed to the free throw line. He had an early bucket on a post-up. And a feed over the top, this time a bounce pass down in low, and he's able to uh, get a defender up in the air and didn't get the shot, but he finds himself here at the free throw line. Folks has two points in the game, averaging just over eight per contest on the season. And the first free throw up and off the mark, rattled around and rolled out. Just underway in the second quarter, Tigers again trailing 10-5. to Folks with another free throw. Try to cut into that five point lead, and he buries this one. He has three. In will come Connor last, facing Allberg out. Tigers throwing some full court pressure on Sunrise now. 10 6 down by four, second quarter early. In the backcourt with it is Braden Dorsey. Now Payne has it. Glaves and last good defense. Now they do get it across, and they've got numbers. Dunn attacks, gets up in the air, and misses, and Parker Folks brings down the board. Dunn had a good look, couldn't finish it. Tigers back to the way. Pass goes, I think, intended for Livy, and thank goodness Brigham Glaves was paying attention. He ends up with the basketball. 2-3 zone by Sunrise. Last out top to Livy. Right wing is Parker Folks. Folks will hold to the corner. All Tigers. Had a really good look at three to close down the first quarter that rattled out. Now the pass for the paint taken away by Sunrise. Buffalo's down the court quickly. Tigers go back on defense, man to man. Under seven to work, and now a bump on Altizer. Loose ball situation. Got his hands to the basketball, but the body went on through him, and he picks up the foul. This will be the 16 foul. The next will put Sunrise into the bonus. Possession belongs to the Buffaloes on the sideline. They make a couple of substitutions. Tigers have Glaives, Last, Folks, Livy, and Altizer on the court right now. At the corner right, it goes down low, and a wide open look inside over the top to Javier Silva. And now play center down 12 to 6. Down court pass, Connor Last has it. Front court, chase from behind, controls it. Now gets it back out deep for Livy. Livy around left to Altizer. Dalt back up to the top for Folks. Parker, kick out left, Brigham Glaze. Down in the corner, Livy, skip pass, Altizer, holds outside. Now to the right baseline, Glaze to last. Parker, Folks now has it in the corner right, dribbles his way to the paint, kick out, Altizer way downtown for three, and it's just off the mark, rebound, fifth, saved in bounds by Sunrise, and it'll go to play center. The Tigers will keep possession on the baseline. Mason Allberg comes on now for the Tigers. Play center again with a 12-6 deficit. They trail here in this second quarter. 6-14 remaining. We will have more coming your way from the TVL and Phil Casper. Here's last outside the Livy. Now to Altizer. Left side Allberg. To the baseline, it goes to Folks. Parker back out to Connor Last. Six minutes to go, first half. Tigers down 12 6. To the post, Livy. Kick out in the corner. Alberg to Altizer. Now up top is Folks. Around left, left. Last. Livy in the corner left. Kick out deep for Alberg. Altizer has his ball fake, and he's called for steps on that fake, and the Tigers will turn it back over to the Buffalo. 545 left, second quarter. When we get a chance, we will send you back and check in. With Bill Casper. There's a steal by Connor Last. The drive, the lay in good. And the Tigers needed something. And Connor Last with his second bucket off a steal and run out. It's 12 8. Tigers down by four. Now the pressure. Wyatt nearly turned it over. Lobs it down low, though, for Silva. It is blocked by. And he has called for the foul. That will be his second, I believe, of the game. 
He had two shot blocks on Tuesday, and I think he got a whole lot of basketball. And this one, they're going to call the foul his second. Also, we do have a final score on that uh, Heston Riley County ball game. Heston did end up winning 45 32. The Lady Tigers will face Heston for the second straight year in that championship coming up tomorrow at 5 45. Fish shot in the lane by Sunrise, and the Tigers have it back. Altizer on the right side of the court, wing right, directing traffic. Now gets it back out, keeps the lighting. Bate works it left to the wing, stops there, kick out top, Allbird, corner to Altizer. He triggers it left, deep to Livey. Back across it comes to Dalt, out the top, blast to Livey. He wants the three ball, just off the bar, pretty good look, but it rimmed out on him, the Tigers down by four. Back to the way is Wyatt, he's hit two threes, four sunrise in this ball game. Tigers on defense, man-to-man, 444 work for the second quarter, Tigers trailing 12-8 to Sunrise Academy out of Wichita. Wyatt, the corner right. He'll pull a two-point trigger this time. It's strong. Rebound. Connor last brings it down and now reached down on a couple of times. They get the whistle and they get the foul against Sunrise. It'll be Clay Center's basketball. The remainder of the half, both teams will now be in a bonus situation. So Clay Center will have the basketball. 431 remains. By the way, the Tiger wrestlers at Beloit been updating that on social media for you, but we'll give you a look at that here when we get the opportunity, and we'll check back in at the Twin Valley League with Bill Casper. Brigham Blaves has the Tigers down four with the basketball. Mason Allberg, wing right, deep to Altizer. Now to Glaves. Brigham goes left and deep for Livy. To the post, Glaves in the lane, corner left. Allberg's got to look at three. It's strong. Rebound weak side to Wyatt. Midway point, second quarter. Tigers trailing here, 12-8. Dunn down the court. Altizer on him. Dunn at the top. Still with the dribble. Now he wants to clear it out right side. Silver, they're trying to set up instead of the corner left. And there's a walk outside against Kobe Fields. Just a little running start off the ball fake. And the Tigers will get it back again. They trail 12 8. 351 still remains first half. They could get some offense rolling. They've been able to keep. Sunrise in check and doing a pretty good job on the boards to keep one and done situations for the most part for the Buffalo off there. 338 left. Here's Altizer in the corner to Libby. Skip pass right looking for Glaze. Ball was loose. Brigham fought for it. Gets it back. Now saves it into Libby and the Tigers keep possession. Altizer trying to go down low in the lane to Parker Folks and the basketball taken away on the pass inside by Sunrise. 12-8 ball game. Tigers down by four. Drives to the bucket by Dunn. Silva steps into the lane and able to take the shot up and good. He has four. Clay Center now down by six points, 14-8. Here's Altizer, left wing. Jump pass across. Livey at the right elbow. Out deep it comes to Glade. Now to Altizer. Out top is Mason Alberg. Alberg back left. Altizer has it. To the top of the key is Parker Folks. Ball fakes. Kicks it out left to Livey. Livey now to Glaze. Glaze, left wing, folks. Parker, now to Allberg. Around right, it comes to Altizer. Dalt holds with the dribble. Now skips it across Brigham Glaze. In the corner, Allberg takes the three. Now skips it across to Livey. Nate will go across court for Parker, folks. A bit low, but he's able to contain it. And the Tigers will keep possession. 224 left. Very low score at first half. The Tigers down by just six. With the basketball, Allberg in the corner left. Stops, ball fake, skips it across, Altizer. Short corner right, Parker Folks gets his way in the lane and somehow finishes over the 6-2 sophomore Javier Silva. And it's now Parker Folks with five. What a finish inside against defense all over him. Now it's done with it, under two to work, 14-10. Dunn wants the three, and it is short. Rebound, Folks has it for the Tigers. Play center down four, back with the basketball. Dalton Altizer brings it down off the Libby. Nate attacks the paint, kick out for Glaves. Now up top, Glaze. Dunn's got a wide open lane on the other end, and he cashes it in. Josh Dunn has three, and the Tigers now trail by six, 16-10. Minute 31 to work, we're in the first half. When we get to halftime, we'll send it over to Flip and check in at the TVL. Minute 24 to work here. Left and deep. 
This is Nate Leiby, kicks it across Glaive. Short corner right, back inside it goes. Leiby takes it strong, he's fouled. Nate the Great headed to the free throw line. And it'll be a chance at two free throws here for the Tigers. Altizer, good drop pass inside on the bounce. Leiby then went strong to the glass, and he's able to get to the free throw line here to shoot two. Tigers in this first quarter, the first half, I should say, two of four from the line and have two of five as the first one misses. Free throw shot by Leiby, his second on the way. This one is up and good. He had 10 of 10 on Tuesday, makes one of two this trip. The Tigers trail by five, 16-11, all the way to the glass. Dunn just drove through everybody. Nobody cut him off. And he gets a wide open lay in. A minute three to work going the other direction. Tigers trail 18 11. Down by seven with the basketball. Here's Glaves right wing. Ball fake, steps in, pulls the trigger. 15 footer up and short gets his own rebound. Back up and blocks. Battles for the board, hands it again. Now goes in strong. Reverse lay in is good by Glaves. Bring up Glaves would not be denied on the third attempt. He drove by a defender and the reverse. Lay it up and off glass and good. Here's Dunn again to the paint. Now it's going to be a pull up in the lane and the answer by Jeremy DeVoe. 2013, Tigers trail by seven here. 30 seconds to work. Altizer walks it down. 2-3 zone by Sunrise. They've been in it from the start for the most part. 19 seconds left. Tigers are going to milk it down, try to get a final shot before the buzzer. Down to 11. Now 10. Nine seconds. Here's Leiby. Goes right side toward the rack, all the way in the lane. Blocked from behind. No contact called. Dunn racing out the other direction. He will take it up and will get it down at the buzzer. Tigers will trail by nine as we head to halftime. 22-13. It is sunrise with the lead. Let's get you over to Phil Casper and get you caught up on Washington County Clifton Clyde Boys. All right, Rock, thanks. Here at Washington County, 10-8 Washington County leading Clifton Clyde boys. 2.52 left in the first. Dawson Miller, lob pass inside. What a look from Miller to Evan Olette. And we started off on a 4-0 run by Washington County, and they were fast. Now a steal by Jacob Lotta. Cross-court skip pass to Hoover, and he gets it to go and one. Somehow Hoover was able to get a handle on that pass. It was way low from Lotta. And not only got the pass, but then able to get the finish, and now he's headed to the line. It's 14-8. We'll send it back to Rocky here in just a minute to get you caught up on scoring. As Hoover tries for the three-point play and rims out. And now foul is going to be called on the rebound on Jay Eaton. But Hoover does get that to fall, but not the free throws. The 14-8 is where we're at. Washington County leads. Fahey inbound to Charbonneau. Washington County will stay in a man-to-man. This is the fifth place for the right to play for fifth place tomorrow. Now near, near Steele Miller. And Matt Barnes hit. Now top of the key, ball loose. Cole Mills had it, goes right back into the hands of Barnes. Here's Charbonneau in the lane, and a floater by Caleb Charbonneau is good. And it's 14-10. Eaton now to Lotta. He'll go left wing Hoover. Now Lotta out on the right wing, holds underneath. Good look underneath from Lotta to Evan Olette, and it's 10. And now, Matt Barnes wanted to drive all the way to the basket, but just slipped a little in the lane. So, a turnover again to Washington County. 16-10, minute 39. So Jacob Lotta, now Jacob Lotta dribbles it right off his foot into the hands of Charbonneau. Other end, Charbonneau floater in the lane, up and down. And he makes him pay. Down court, Miller in the lane, has it stripped away. Gets it back out to Hoover for three. No, short. Rebound to Clifton Clyde. Here comes Charbonneau. Down court to Cook. In the lane, what a move 
by Bradley Cook, and it is 16-14, and it is a score fest right now between Washington County and Clifton Clyde, and Jacob Lotta will walk it across the timeline down to a minute. Back to the last top of the key. He'll get a right side to Lotta, and now Bradley Cook reached in, flapped it away, and a little contact. 16-14. And neither team in the bonus yet, so this will go out of bounds to Washington County. Dawson Miller's going to come out. He's already got six points in this game. Lotta looking to inbound, gets it into Talkington. Talkington backs out with 50. Now he's going to take on Charbonneau at the stripe, kicks it left to Eaton. Eaton's going to walk it back out and give it to Talkington. He'll reset. Right wing Lotta. Cross-court pass. Eaton driving towards the bucket and hit Eaton on the fly. And Eaton up and down for two. What a look from Lotta to Eaton. And now a foul is going to be called on the other end. Nathan Oldie goes up strong. And Levi Gobby moving with him is going to get called. So... Oldie goes to the line shooting two. It's 18 14. Oldie's first. Good. He'll have one more. We'll get you to back to Rocky. He can update you on where they're at at halftime with Play Center and Wichita Sunrise. Here in the first quarter, 18-15. And 18-16 as Oldie hits both with 26. Here comes Hoover down court. Miller back in the game. Talkington, right wing, inside. 2 Olet from the free throw stripe. Won't go. Rebound to Clifton Clyde. Michael Sear out of there with it. With 10. He's going to drive it all the way. Blocked by Hoover. And now Hoover knocks to the ground. No call. Here comes four. He's taking it all the way. Hits it and one. With 2.2, Jay Eden made up his mind he was going to go to the hoop, and he did. And he's got a chance at three with 2.2 seconds left. Free throw up and down. And now in, half-court prayer off glass and nearly in from Nathan Oldie. One quarter, it's 21-16, Washington County leading. Flips and Clyde, let's get you back to Rocky Downey. You bet, Flip, here at the half, 22-13 again. Sunrise with the lead. They're still about four and a half minutes out from getting the second half started. I'll quickly give you the scoring leaders for Sunrise Academy. Six points on two three-pointers from Alex Wright. Four points each for Jeremy DeVoe and Javier Silva. Five points for Josh Dunn and one free throw in for Cedric Payne. The Tigers have five points for Parker Folks, four from Connor Last, two points for Brigham Claves, a free throw each for Anthony Atkinson, Inneking, and Nate Leiby. First half of play for the Tigers, five of 19 from the field, 0 of 5 from beyond the arc. So as we mentioned, trouble getting the offense going, and that uh, leads them to the nine-point deficit here, 22-13. Sunrise Christian Buffaloes with the lead over the Clay Center Tigers at half. We'll let you uh, give us more bonus coverage from the TVL. Are you looking for the right bank to complement your busy schedule? Look no further. United Bank and Trust has just what you need. From easy online, mobile, and tablet banking to online loan applications, there is no need to try to find time to reach the bank before closing hours. You can simply apply for that new mortgage or car loan in the comfort of your own home or check the balances of your account while waiting in the line at the grocery store. United Bank and Trust makes banking convenient for you. United Bank and Trust, banking for your way of life. Equal housing lender, member FDIC. Out of the quarter break at Washington County. We'll get you back to Hillsboro when they're ready to go. There's Jay Eaton, long shot, backside rebound, Miller off class good. The foot and Clyde started with possession, missed the shot, and now Charbonneau loses the dribble. Gets it back to Michael Sear, who hands it back to Charbonneau so he can reset. 23-16. Washington County up by seven. Charbonneau near steal Eaton. Oldie has it. 
Now Zach Sorrell is going to try three from the right wing. Won't go. Outlet pass. Miller to Hoover to Eaton. Play in good. And Clifton Clyde is going to take a timeout. One minute into the second, 25-16, Washington County leads when we come back. The Central Valley Ag Advanced Propping System. It starts with you and your CVA field sales agronomist making the right seed selection. We'll match the hybrid with the yield potential and the soil characteristics of each individual field. Specialist Glenn Franzlovers and the ACS team make sure your planter is set up for maximum emergence. We're trying to help our customers get the seed off to the best possible start we can. The Advanced Propping System at cvacoop.com or your nearest Central Valley Ag location. Here at TSI Kansas, we're looking for a certain type of driver to join our team. We're looking for a passionate, loyal, dedicated, and hardworking driver. We're looking for the driver that wants to stay, make a career, not just another job. If you know what your goals are, let TSI Kansas help you achieve them. Call Heather and Recruiting at 785-632-5183 and ask how you can join TSI Kansas. Well, one minute into the second period, and Clifton Clyde on a little, or rather, uh, Washington County on a 4 0 run, and Coach Mike Pound takes a timeout as Clifton Clyde has really got some things working, and Evan Olette now with the foul on Cordell Sears, so out of bounds to the Eagles. Each team with four fouls. Inbounds. Oh, Matt Barnes. Inbounds can't get it to go as he was coming in on the fly from Stenberg. Miller with the rebound. Here comes Dawson Miller. Other end. Reverse play in. No. Can't get it to go. Boy, Miller had a great look at it. Here comes Barnes. Down court quickly. Floater off glass. Yes. 25-18. Jacob Lotto will slow it down a little bit. Lotta in the lane underneath Miller. Hawkington, baseline, fake three, now stops from 10 and hits it. Carson Hawkington, his first bucket. Here come the Eagles. Barnes to Sears. Stenberg on the left wing. Back up to Sear. Now Barnes is going to take it and reset near center court. Lotta out on him. Terrell on the baseline. Sear, right elbow for two, off glass, no. Rebound fought for, Stenberg has it under the basket. Reverse play in, Jacob Stenberg with a nice move to the hoop. It's 27-20, and I think they are ready to go in Hillsboro. 5.42 left in the half, 27-20. Washington County leads. We'll bring you back later. Here's Rocky. All right, thanks a lot, Flip. Here's a drive by Mason Albert. Comes up short, but a rebound and stick back by Parker Folks and a chance at a three-point play. As Big Daddy got the offensive board set play on their first offensive possession, it was a stop. Nate Leiby tips. The Tigers came up with the uh, basketball and the defensive side to start with, and then come down quickly. Albert took it strong, didn't get it to go, but folks was there to rebound the stick back bucket up and in. It'll be the second foul on Jeremy DeVoe and a chance at the three point play here for Big Daddy Parker Folks. The Tigers down seven. Cut it to six. They score the first three points of this third period. So maybe they can get the start here and get the offense going. They were 5 of 14 from two-point land, 0 of 5 from the three-point line in that first half. Really struggled offensively. Silva, stick back, bucket up and good for the Buffaloes, and he has six. The Tigers down 24-16. Here's Connor last. Hit five boards in the first half last. Also four points to go with that. Made Livey off the pass from Glaze. Skip pass right wing to Alberg. Out top is Glaze. Brigham goes left to Connor Last. Connor's used up his dribble. Now to Glaze at the point. Right side wing. Livey. Nate out top. Here's Alberg. Attacks the lane to the glass. Had it stripped away. No contact. But the tip on the outlet by Livey's taken away now by Last. He'll attack the paint. Won't go down. Rebound picked up by Sunrise. 24 16. Tigers trailing here by eight. Sunrise with the basketball. The drive by Dunn, and he's able to put it in off the glass on a drive inside. It's kind of a wild shot, but it goes in. Here's Nate Leiby down court. 
Stops out top last. Fakes on the three. Now hold. Wing right deep. Livey across the Parker Pokes in the lane. Takes it strong again. Almost with the shot to go down. He will get to the free throw line to shoot two. Tigers are down ten, but getting some action going on the offensive end right now. 26-16. 6.29 to work third quarter. Folks with two free throws coming. And we'll continue to keep you posted on the TVL. Check back in with Phil Casper. He'll be able to bring you the bonus finish of that ball game. Tigers have Anthony Atkinson inning back in for play center. Out will come Brigham Glaive. Also back in for the Buffaloes, Kobe Field. The foul was on Jared Brown. It's his third. It's one freshman that has to come out. That's what Fields came in. Atkinson inning with two fouls in the first half, so very limited time on the floor. Folks now with seven points in the game as he knocks down one of two free throws. Full court pressure. Sunrise brings it across. Now Fields with a no pain with a stack, pulls the jumper. It's air ball short. Rebound to Connor last. He has hit twice, and they finally cut the foul call. That'll be the third team foul here in the third quarter now against Sunrise. And so Connor Last is strong enough to make them call that foul. They didn't get it on the first bump. And then Last ripped it through again, and they called the bump as he started up the floor. 26-17, Tigers trail by nine with the basketball here in the third period. 6-10 to work. Last outside right. Livey for three. It's strong. Last week's side board ripped it away from Sunrise, and the Tigers keep possession. Atkinson in king. Faces up. Ball stripped away from behind. Now taken away by Sunrise. Dunn coming down court. Gets down toward the lane. Hangs in the air. Wild shot. No good. Tipped up. Missed. Now the rebound. Batted around. It'll go out of bounds off of play center. Sunrise keeps it on the baseline. 5.45 remains here in the third quarter. Basketball belongs to Sunrise. They'll have it left of the glass. Wyatt will inbound it. Calls the play, slaps it in motion. Tigers trying to deny it a man to man. Silva backs it out. He will give it out deep now to Fields. 540 left here in the third quarter. Tigers down by nine. Man to man on defense. Dunn with a dribble out deep. Livey out on him. Dunn still the dribble. Now makes his way to the lane. Pulls up, and it's going to be a par off the back iron. Rebound to Livey. Through a double team. Livey on the move up the floor. Now toward the paint as it knocks away, and he is knocked to the ground. And it will be a foul against Sunrise. It'll be play center's basketball. That'll be the fourth team foul against the Buffaloes here in the third period. Dalton Altheis are in, and folks will come out. Libby will stay in. He took a hard shot with going to the lane, and it got tipped away from him. He checked, tracked it down as he gained control and started to the paint. He was just floored. Here's Allberg out top. Right wing deep is Atkinson in the All ties are in the corner. 5.15 left to work. We're in the third. Tigers trail 26-17. Lob to the post. Atkinson in the trying to jump pass it out to the sideline for all ties. And Dalton not in that position where Anthony was throwing it. But it's just communication. Now long down court pass. Silva beat the Tigers down court. Nate Wiley, though, catch up defense. Blocks it out of bounds. And it will be Sunrise basketball on the baseline. 5.08 left third quarter. Tigers trailing by nine. From the baseline, Wyatt to bring it in for Sunrise. Long time to get it in, does so to Dunn. Loves the dribble penetrate. Kick out left, it goes deep to Alex Wyatt, who hit two first half threes. 26-17. 4.55 still to work. We're in the third quarter. Dunn with the dribble out near the half-court strike. He'll go right on the wing now, and a three-point attempt up. No good. Rebound. All ties for rips it down. Tigers have it. Down by nine. Down court pass. Corner right. Allberg to the post. Atkinson in a key. Good ball fake. Gets a defender in the air, and Anthony's headed to the stripe to shoot two. 6-5 junior. Good feed from Allberg. And it's a great head and shoulder fake by Atkinson in a key. They called this on the floor, I guess. Wow. Wow. I don't see that one either. I've been... Well, it, they called it on the floor after Anthony had gotten a defender up in the air and he went up with the shot. So it's uh, 
tough medicine. Here's Altizer for three, won't go. Rebound, Nate Livey back up, blocked, tipped around, loose. Altizer trying to track it down and can't quite get to it. That's twice today that you heard me in this ball game. I think it was going one way and it was completely different. So really, really surprised. Here's Wyatt up the court with a dribble. Corner left, it goes deep to Kobe Fields. He's used his dribble backdoor look. It's poked away by Atkinson Inneke, but then Sunrise gets it back. Silva in the lane gets it to drop in. Tigers were headed the other direction thinking they had the steal, and it was just picked off by Sunrise, and they end up with the bucket. 28-17, 4.07 to work for it, the third. Tigers trail by 11. Here's Allberg with it out left and deep to Altizer at the point. High post, Allberg looks down low, kick out left, last, ball fakes. Now to Altizer. Stalt back left to last to the post is Atkinson and a king. Good ball fake again. Rises up. Can't get it. Has his own rebound. Back strong and a chance and a three-point play for the Anthony. This time, I am positive they got the call. And Anthony's headed to this drive. A chance to convert to three. He cuts the lead to nine. And now if you get to the stripe, that is a 16 foul already in this third quarter against Sunrise. Allberg outs, Dylan Boone in for the Tigers. 346 still remaining third quarter, so Clay Center's going to be in the bonus the remainder of this game. Atkinson and King gets it to roll in there. And so Anthony has four points. The Tigers are back within eight, 28 20. 346 remains. Here comes pressure by the Tigers up the floor. Man to man in a full court. Now they try to run and jump on a double team. Dunn up the floor toward the lane. Atkinson and King is back, trying to get out of the way, back to the basketball. He just run it to the baseline and bumped into, and they call the blocking foul against Atkinson and King. And it'll be, and they call this one on the shot, of course. So, <laughs> Dunn will be at the line shooting, too. A little continuation along with the, Anthony was just trying to get out of the way there and uh, got run into. He was moving, but it was not trying to defend. First free throw. Rims off. Second went in. Tigers trail by nine. 29-20. Dunn hits one of two. He now has eight points in the game. Atkinson Inneking now with three fouls. Stays in. Boone has it on the left wing deep. Cut through as Atkinson Inneking pulls the trigger. Back up on the tip and gets the roll. Anthony Atkinson Inneking couldn't get the friendly roll on the first one, but his tip in falls in. And the Tigers are within seven now. And we've got a blocking foul on Anthony one more time. That'll be his fourth foul. And now that'll bring him out of the game again. Well, they sat him down in the first half with that second foul and an offensive call. And now they get him. And now we've got a technical foul on Atkinson and King, and that's going to be it for him tonight. The official, Anthony, said something, gave him a look. And the technical foul is going to be called. And that'll give... Sunrise a chance to go to the line here and they'll get the basketball back. The Tigers have just cut the lead down to 7 29 22. While that technical is being shot, Phil, do you want to check us in on what's happening in Washington? We'll check up on the TBL. Yep, we're headed to halftime and Washington County is going to be leading this game 35 32, just headed to halftime. All right, Phil, thanks. Technical foul shots being uh, put up by Dunn of Sunrise, and that puts the lead back to 30 22. So he gets one of two. And then Sunrise will get the basketball, and that foul on Atkinson and King. You know, it, two of the three were very, very questionable. But this one, and then the technical gives him five, and so he's done. And he had uh, just kind of got it going five points in this quarter. Here's a drive by Dunn, near takeaway by Fitzmaurice. He tips it away, and Boone has it. The Tigers have it back. All thighs are down court to Levi Fitzmaurice to Moon. He'll attack the paint. Ah, oh, good look inside for Nate Leiby. Just a little too hot to handle down low in the lane. And a timeout's going to be taken here by Sunrise. We'll break as well. You're listening to Tiger Basketball on 100.9. 
As a family-owned independent business, our agronomists at CS Precision Ag understand what it takes to make your operation successful. From various soil mapping and variable rate prescriptions to pre-season crop planning and weekly crop scouting reports, our agronomists tailor fit each package to fit your particular farm. We are accepting new customers for 2017 throughout North Central Kansas and South Central Nebraska. Contact us today at 785-630-0596 or visit us online at csprecisionag.com. 30-22 with 2.59 to work here in the third quarter. The Tigers trail by just eight. Sunrise with the technical foul free throws. And it will be Sunrise basketball as well after the turnover with the Tigers. Moon had a pretty good look to Nate Livey, a little hot in the lane. He just couldn't quite get to it. And so the turnover back to Sunrise, who lead by eight. They led by nine at halftime, and now the near steal by Moon. He does force the turnover off of Alex Flyett. The Tigers have it back. 30-22, 251 remains. Tigers with it down by eight. It will be Mason Allberg who will bring it down the floor. Dylan Moon, Dalton Altizer, Brigham Glaves, Levi Fitzenmeyer on the court for the Tigers. Moon, right wing deep. With the dribble now off the Glaves toward the left side. Brigham, left wing and deep is Altizer. Looks low. Back outside is Allberg. Mason takes right, goes back left. Now Moon with it to the corner. Fitzenmeyer, Levi attacks, kick out. Moon's got a good look from 15, and he buries it. Dylan Moon gets the lead down to six. As he knocks it in for 15 feet away on the kick out from Levi Fitzenmeyer. 2.15 remains, third quarter. The Tigers now within six. Done with the dribble against Altizer. Right wing, Fields. Back out deep to Wyatt. Moon on him. Good pressure by the Tigers. Here's Fields. Two minutes to go. We're in the third quarter. Tigers down by six. Fields with the dribble. Hands it off to Dunn. Altizer pressuring. Now Dunn brings it back out toward the half court stripe. And it's 51 to work for in the third quarter. Done. Left side. Fields. Back out top. Wyatt around right to Dunn again. Minutes 40 now in the third. Tigers on defense. Sunrise trying to find an avenue to get through. Tigers have cut the once 10 point lead down to six. And now Dylan Moon trying to get a steal from behind. Ends up tripping up the ball handler. Speed got caught, and that's going to be a foul against the Tigers. It'll be his first. Minute 32 remains, third quarter. Parker Folks back in. Glaves will get a breather. Folks with nine points to lead the Tigers in scoring back on the court now. 90 seconds to work. Weave out top. Field to Dunn. Dunn works it right. Now Fitzenmeyer near steal. Kick across the field. Dribble drive. That's an offensive foul. Fields pushed off with the free hand on a good defensive play by Levi Fitzemeyer, and the big bull forces the turnover. So the Tigers have it back, a minute 18 to work, down by six. Big possessions here late in this third quarter for the Tigers. Altizer will let it roll near half court and start the dribble there. To the high post, Parker Folks. Mason Allberg pulls the trigger, and the sharpshooter knocks it down on the left elbow. And now it's a two, a four point ball game. Altizer the steal, the three ball. Just off the mark, rebound, Allberg battle it, loose in the lane. Bing ties it up with Altizer, or I should say Dalton able to tie it up, but it's going to be a reach-in foul whistled on the reach. But the Tigers are within four on the pull-up deuce from Mason Allberg. 30-26, 59 seconds left here in the third quarter. Length of the floor to go for Sunrise. Done. Cut off by Moon. And by Fitzemeyer, Dunn all the way to the lane, and he gets the lay-in and the bump. I think they're going to get Parker Folks on this one. Dunn with a good finish in traffic. He now has 10 points in the game and a chance at an old-fashioned three-point play. That gets the lead back out to 6, 32-26, with 53 to work here in this third period. It'll be Dunn to shoot it. And he does convert the three-point play. 53 to work. Tigers down now by seven. They had cut it to four. The three-point play back to seven. And now Fitzenmeyer walks with the basketball. He wanted to swing it to the left wing. 
and the defense kind of jumped in the passing lane right as he started to, and he already he's up in the air. Could do nothing but come down with it. Up the floor is Fields. Spinning and driving. Fields cut off by Fitzenmeyer. Lob back out deep for Dunn. 35 to work. Weave hands it off to Wyatt. Now it's Fields. Left and deep. Wyatt. Alex Wyatt dribbles to the left baseline. Cut off by Parker Folks. Now kicks it out deep to field. 22 seconds left here in the third quarter. Fitzenmeyer on field. 18 to work. Field near the timeline gives it away to Dunn. He'll drive the lane again. Kickoff, corner, big for two, go. Weak side board, folks. Tigers have it. Dylan Boone down the court with seven. That was six. Boone, kick to the corner. It is Albert for three, just strong. Boone, stick back at the buzzer, won't go. They're headed to the fourth. Tigers battling. They're down by seven, 33-26 when we come back. The new signature wraps from Subway are bursting with flavor, packed with double the meat and just six fifty dollars each. Try the hearty habanero roasted chicken, the savory chicken Caesar, or the tasty turkey bacon and guacamole, all wrapped in a delicious wrap flavor of your choice, spinach, tomato basil, or habanero. There's also a roasted red pepper hummus wrap for veggie lovers. Try the delicious new signature wraps, all just six fifty dollars each. Subway, for a limited time only at participating restaurants, plus tax, additional charges for extras. A sense of community is a feeling that people have of belonging, a feeling that they matter to one another and a shared faith that their needs will be met through their commitment to each other. At Union State Bank, you matter to us in our community. That's why we offer a wide range of loans to help you achieve your dreams. From home loans, agricultural loans, business loans, and more, we're here to help you succeed. We're in this together, and you belong here in our hometown proud community. Union State Bank, member FDIC, an equal housing lender. 33-26, they're still at halftime in Washington where the Washington County Tigers are leading Clifton Clyde 35-32. 35-32. Play center with the basketball here, trailing by seven to begin the fourth quarter. Dylan Moon hands it off to Dalton Altizer. He'll bring it across, wants to give it to Nate Livey who's back in, and now Livey will run point. Allbird right, all ties are left. Folks and Moon out there as well. Mason Allbird drives, kick out Livey. Take on the three. Now toward the paint, leaner in the lane, drops home. Takes the grade with his first field goal. And the Tigers are within five, 33-28. Seven and a half to work in the ball game. Gun down the court. Now toward the lane. All the way to the paint, and that has happened too many times for the Tigers. Gun able to get through the paint and then to the 10. He's got 13. Tigers back down by 7, 35-28. Dylan Moon in the corner right. Holds there. Down to the post, looking for folks. It was at his feet, and Parker just couldn't come up with it. Wyatt with it. Out to Silva. Starts the dribble drive. Now to Wyatt. Fields in the corner with it against Nate Leiby. Fields uses Oh, that's pain, actually, right now. He uses that offhand a lot. And that time was not called for it. Done with it now. Calls a play, wants a screen. Towards the paint again. Good cut off by Altizer, but he had to use his hands to do so. Both teams are in the bonus from here on out. So a one and one chance here for Dunn, who has 13 to lead all scores. 648 remains third quarter, or fourth quarter, I should say, just starting the fourth. Free throw up, and the front end of the one and one is good. Dunn now with 14. One more charity coming. Connor last back on for the Tigers. Again, Anthony Atkinson, any team fouling out in the third quarter. He just kind of gotten it going, it seemed, had five points. And now the free throw misses for Dunn, rebound Auburn. And then it was called for a couple of very questionable fouls and eventually ended up being called for a technical, which is Smith. Parker Folks on the other end. He now has third tier, correction 11. And the Tigers are right back within six, 36-30. Done. Wing right has used his dribble. Now Nate Livey tries for the steal. Payne toward the free throw line all the way to the glass. Shot is strong. Rebound second time in a row by Mason Allbird. And the Tigers down court right side. Last. Connor back out deep. Altizer left side wing. Allbird pulls the three on the move, and it's just off the mark. Last the board. He's fouled. That'll put him at the free throw stripe to shoot two. 36-30. And Connor Lass with a big offensive rebound. Mason Albrecht's three nearly drained. 
And then the rebound comes off last way up in the air to bring it down. The foul on Payne is third. Free throws for last. First one is strong. Tigers down six. 6-13 remaining. Every possession starting to become pretty crucial right now for the Tigers. Second free throw on its way. This one off the mark. Rebound. Parker pokes back up and good. And the Tigers are within four. It's 36-32. And Coach Drew Gruber getting a timeout as we go to the sideline. 36-32. Tigers down four here at Tabor Gym in the Trojan Classic. Stay with us. We're back after this. Wish you could be in two places at once? With leading innovative technology from Valley Irrigation and AgSense, you can. It's a combination that lets you keep one foot in the field and one in the action, so you can monitor your pivots from anywhere, check real-time weather, machine configurations, soil moisture, and more, all from the palm of your hand. And if trouble strikes, receive alerts on everything from stuck pivots to wire theft. So when it comes time to cheer on your favorite team, you can be sure you never miss a play. See Republican Valley Irrigation or call 632-5588. Tigers battling here, continuing to fight through a little adversity and just kind of trying to find a way. They trail by four now, 36-32. The full court pressure now by the Tigers. Down court and nearly taken away it is. Altizer, the race down the floor, two on two numbers. Now he backs it out to set offense. Big possession. Oh, great hesitation move. And the long bomber takes it inside. His first field goal on a drive down low. The Tigers are within two. Here's Dunn the other direction. Bumped in the lane. No look pass. Silva shot rattles off, but a foul was called. Was this on the drive or on the shots? I did not hear a whistle, but things getting a little loud here, understandably. It is going to be a one and one, so no shot at the lane. It'll be Josh Dunn with that one-and-one chance. And the Tigers down by just two. Front end of the one-and-one, rims off, rebound, Altizer battles, rips it away, and we've got a jump ball arrow belonging to the Tigers. Play center has it back, 36-34. Leap to the floor to go, and it's going to be a little pressure now by Sunbriar. 5.44 5.44 remain. All ties are in the backcourt. Double team comes at him. Back to Livy around the folks. Looks up the floor. Now off the last. Connor, tip pass. Livy has it. Breaks the timeline. 5.33 remain. Livy, free throw line jumper to tie it. It rattles out. Rebound. Folks catch the line. Now Livy the steal. And he's fouled. The chance at the line for Nathan Grace on a big offensive rebound. And then the strip away by Nate Livy. 36-34. 5.26 still to go in this ball game. Two big free throws coming from Livy. One of two at the line here on the game that was back in the first half. First free throw up and down. He is 10 of 10 Tuesday in the opening round and he's way to 13 points. Now he's got a free throw remaining to tie this game. The Tigers down one. They've trailed by as many as 11. That was in the third quarter. Slivey to tie it. Drains it. Nate Livy now with five points, and the Tigers have it tied at 36-36. Right side with it is Jeremy DeVoe. Out deep near the timeline. Livy, good pressure on Dunn. Little shake and bake. Dunn can't shake Livy, though. Now the reach and foul. Nate had a hand to it a couple of times, and then just a little over-aggressive on that last reach, and so it'll be done back at the free throw line. It's now a double bonus situation from here on out, except for this one, which is still a one and one. Dunn missed the front end last time. This time he threads it, and he'll get one more free throw coming. Second free throw up, and Sunrise has the lead back now. Full court pressure. Pass from Altizer is kicked out of bounds. 5.08 remains. Clay Center down 38-36. Altizer into the front court. Double team coming at him. He gets rid of it to Alburn. Mason, by one defender. To the wing right, Livy. Nate, he's double teamed. Attacks the paint. He's fouled. That'll put Nate Livy back at the free throw line. So Nate, a chance to go back to the stripe and tie it again. 
Livey with two free throws coming. Double bonus the remainder of the way for both teams. And Nate gets the first one down. The junior with ice in his veins has hit four of five now. One more free throw coming to tie it. And it rattles home. We're tied again at 38. Another timeout taken by Coach Drew Groover. Let's check in over in Washington with Phil Casper. All right, Rock. Washington County shooting free throws. They have come out on a 6-0 run. Now 7-0 run as Levi Gobby hits one of two. It is 42-32, 4-0-9 left in the third. Washington County stretched their lead to 10. All right, Cliff, thanks for the uh, look in, and we'll have a further look in once we uh, get to the finish of this ball game. We'll send it back over to finish things out to Flint Valley League. The day started with Phil Casper over in uh, the TVL, still st- sounding strong right now, but he started back at 1.30 with his first dip off. The Lady Tigers earlier play center winning 46 31, and uh, that put them into the championship. They will face Heston. Riley County really gave them a battle, but Heston comes out on top, so. They'll go head-to-head for the Trojan Classic Championship once again this year. Also from the Twin Valley League Tournament, results from earlier today had Axtell over Frankfurt, 49-38. That was a boys' game. That's what started the day off. Washington County was able to get by Hanover in a back-and-forth game in one championship semi, and the Hanover boys won over Onega, 54-45, to move into the championship on the boys' side. Right side field. Frankfurt also a winner against Clifton Clyde earlier. Here's Downs for three, and he drills it. Has an attempt to the three. Hey, yes, it's two attempts to the first half. Now it's a three-point ball game. Altizer to the post. Folks, go strong. Was he fouled? No, and can't get the bucket. And then a foul is going to be called on Parker. Folks, going back up. Folks went right through contact on the first try. Did get the call. Not at the line. Didn't get the bucket. The ball went back up after. Then he's called for the foul. That is a tough one against Parker Folks, who caught it so strong in the post and went up after it and didn't get the contact he wanted and then went back up to try to get the board. It was called for over the back, and now three throws at the other end for Sunrise. Jared Brown gets two charities, missing on the first. 41-38 with 4.37 still to go. The Tigers trail by three. They've tied it up twice here in this fourth. Brown, this free throw goes home. It's a four-point ball game. Round one of two, his first point of the night. Paul Heiser walks it up the floor. A little 1-3-1 half-court trap by the Sunrise Buffaloes. Connor last, corner right with it. Out of the mid lane, Nate Livey. Bounce pass off, folks. Steps inside, can't get it down. Rebound, step to the corner. That's out of bounds, too. They'll say, well, they'll say it goes to Sunrise. I don't think either knew for sure. They both looked at each other a long time, and then they turned and said it's going the other way. Boy, Parker folks had a great opportunity inside. Now the pass comes in. Nate Livey pressuring on Dunn. Dunn has been huge in this game with 19 points. He averages 22 a game. It's by Livey. Stops at the point. They travel with the basketball. Livey didn't get the steal, but he got done in a hurry. And when he stopped at the top of the top of the point, he ended up skidding with the, uh, the pivot foot. And the Tigers get it back, trailing by four here, 42-38. Altizer will walk it up again against the half-court track. Dalton, high post, last. Connor works it left for the dribble. Now pressured, ball loose, picks it back up. Now in trouble, gets it off to Altizer. Dalton, baseline right, Livey, kick out, last in the corner. Allberg's got a great look for three, just strong. Rebound low, last. Connor, the folks, Parker, back up, and good. Two-point ball game. Parker Folks now with 17 in the contest. Correction with 15 in the game. It is a 42-40 ball game. 323 remaining. Here's Dunn for the paint. Kick out. Wyatt doesn't make the three. He hit two in the first half. 315 to work. Boy, Alberg had a great look for three. I hope he takes that every chance he has off the look that came down in the corner. But there was... Connor last with the rebound, the feed to Parker Folks, and now a timeout taken by Sunrise. 313 to work. Tigers down two. Let's check back in again with Bill Caster. All right, Rock, thanks. 229 here. Clifton Clyde making a little run now. They've got it to within 42-36, and now 
Washington County throws the what throws it away. They're on a 4-0 run. 42-36, Washington County over Cliff and Clyde. 225 left in the third. All right, thanks, Cliff. We'll take a 30-second time now. We'll be back with more Tiger basketball at a TVL on 129. The Central Valley Ag Advanced Propping System. It starts with you and your CVA field sales agronomist making the right seed selection. We'll match the hybrid with the yield potential and the soil characteristics of each individual field. Specialist Glenn Franzlubers and the ACS team make sure your planter is set up for maximum emergence. We're trying to help our customers get the seed off to the best possible start we can. The Advanced Propping System at cvacoop.com or your nearest Central Valley Ag location. 42-40, 42-40, 313, the words the Tigers strengthening claw. And they've got themselves tied up a couple of times here in the fourth. Back within two now. It is Sunrise possession. Will be inbounded from the sideline by Kobe Field. Tigers in a man to man. He comes into pain. The free throw line now backs it out with a dribble against Connor Lass. 308 left of the game. Payne toward the lane. Takes it up. Wild shot short. Rebound, folks. Parker out of three defenders. Able to muscle it away and get it to Nate Livey. Tigers a chance to tie it again. They trail 42-40. Altizer across the timeline. Dalton with it. Now it's man to man by Sunrise. They had gone half court trapped the last few times down. But the Tigers have a man to man defense to look at. 244 remains here in this fourth quarter. Altizer directing traffic. Hands it off to Nate Livey. Nate against Payne. Right side. Back out deep to last. Now to Altizer. He'll turn the corner all the way to the glass. Hammered from behind. He'll go see a clean block. No foul called. And I see the official saying, Coach Groover asking, why no foul? And he said, ball first. Well, regardless, if there's contact after, it could be at the free throw line. But the official, I could read his lips, ball first. Out of bounds to the Tigers. They still have possession. In the lane, Parker Folks turns with the left up. And he has it blocked. Back to the way is Wyatt. Now the takeaway, Nate Livey, the run out to tie it. Lay it good. Face the great. Pick the pocket at half court. Then we're tied at 42. Now Livey the steal. The last. Lay it. The lead for the Tigers. Connor last knocks it in. He has six. It's 44-42. Wyatt down court. Couple of quick steals by Livey. Now Silva and it's blocked out of bounds by Livey. Nate Livey. On the 6-2 sophomore, buries it against the wall, and the Tigers will see Sunrise with possession. The Clay Center with a 44-42 lead. It will be Sunrise basketball on the baseline. Two steals by Nate Livey and a blocked shot by Nate DeGree. And possession goes to Fields underneath the basket. To the paint, Silva loose for a moment. Now it's around left on the wing. Dunn wants the three for the lead back. No, rebound Altizer. The Tigers a two-point lead in the basketball. Altizer into the front court. A minute 50 remains here in the fourth quarter. Dalton with the dribble. No five count on. Dunn now closes in. Altizer holding. Working it right. Dalton nearly had it picked away. Now he does pick it up. Here's Limey, right side wing. Out deep it comes to Alburn. Fields on him. Back to Altizer. A minute 31 to go. Tigers lead by two. To the post. Folks, tipped away. Baseline. It stays with play center. Forced into a double team. Parker Folks kept it alive. Then it went off of Sunrise. And so the Tigers will have it on their own baseline. Left of the window. Altizer will inbound. Holding. Holding. Needs to go somewhere. Now puts it out top. Last will attack across paint. Great looks to Parker Folks. He'll head to the free throw stripe. Big Daddy with a monster game tonight. 15 points already. And this time went strong, got the contact, and he's headed to the free throw line. 44-42. Tigers with the lead. A minute 23 to work. Folks with two free throws coming. Winner of this one plays in the Constellation Finals tomorrow afternoon. And that'll be for fifth place. First free throw misses. That game will tip off in the high school gym at one. The loser plays for seventh in the middle school gym at one. 44-42. Folks to put the Tigers up by three. Strong rebound. Connor last out of nowhere with the board. Up above everybody with Connor last. And the Tigers keep possession. A minute 15 now to work. 
Altizer, right side, five count on, he breaks it as he backs away. Now it's back on again, works it near the timeline, down to a minute eight. Altizer with a screen coming from Libby. Now he sprints toward the paint, gets the screen for Parker's post, and Dalton Altizer has put the Tigers up by two possessions. 58 to work, down, down court with the dribble, out deep against Altizer. 52 seconds left here on the fourth. Dunn with it right side. It's a screen, trying to find a lane to go to. Picks up his dribble now. Lob the cross paint, Silva. 42 to work, back outside the field. 39 seconds. Connor last defending, field to the lane. No, rebound, Altizer. Tigers have it with a four-point lead and 30 seconds left. Ball down court pass, Mason Allbird. Heady play to bring it back outside. And now is going to be fouled, and it'll be two free throws coming for the Long Bomber. Parker folks with 15 in his game. Nate Leiby with nine. Those steals back-to-back that gave the Tigers the position to take the lead. The offensive rebound from Connor last amongst three defenders up in the air, and Connor brought it down and got it off to Parker folks for the bucket. Those types of plays, the difference makers, in this one, if the Tigers can close it out, and Altizer knocks in the first free throw. Dalton has five. The lead goes to five with 25 seconds to work here in the fourth quarter. Second free throw up. This one's perfect. He has six. The Tiger lead is six, and a timeout by Coach Drew Groover. Let's send it over. Check in with Bill Casper. All right, Rock, we've got a good one here, too. Just started the fourth quarter, 44-41. Clifton Clyde driving to the basket, shot up, and it is a two- or one-point game, 44-43. Clifton, or rather, Washington County leads 7-41 left in the game. 48-42 here. We'll get a finish in that ball game. Quite a bit of time left for Cliff Casper to give you the call down the stretch in Washington's final game of our TVL and Trojan Classic Friday semifinal and consolation play taking place in both of those locations. Tomorrow on KCLY, we know we have games at 10 in the Twin Valley League getting the day started, and then the Trojan Classic games at 1, and at 545, it will be the uh, Clay Center Lady Tigers playing for the championship against Heston at 545, and then uh, Clay Center Tiger boys know they're playing at 1. Will it be for 5th place, which would be against Life Prep, or will it be for 7th place against Riley County? right now in position to close this thing out with a six-point lead and 25 seconds still to go. And that's a long way on the basketball floor with a six-point lead, but they are the ones with the hammer right now. Man-to-man, but they'll step back to the half-court stripe to pick him up there. No full-court pressure. Done for three, and he's very sick. Pull up three from way downtown, and now... You've got a three-point ball game, 48-45, and a timeout taken by Sunrise. 18 seconds left. It'll be Clay Center's basketball. Let's again check in. It's a full timeout. Let's check in with Bill Casper. All right, Rock Clifton Clyde has taken the lead, their first lead of the game. They are up 45-44. We'll keep it here for a minute as Washington County trying to get it back. It's Gobby up for two, can't get it. Rebound to Clifton Clyde. Michael Sear has it. He'll get it to Sorrell across the timeline with 6.35. 45-44. It is Clifton Clyde leading Washington. Let's send it back to Hillsboro. All right, Cliff, 48-45 here, 18 seconds left. Huge game from Josh Dunn and a three-pointer. You know, Altizer was on defense, and he's not going to foul. He's going to keep you out in front and between him and the basket. And Dunn pulled up well beyond the arc and drilled it. He now has 20 in the ball game. Correction, 21 for Josh Dunn. That's right about his season average, though. That's the average is 21.9 a game. Tigers, though, have the basketball. Mason Alford, Parker Folks, Nate Leiby, Connor Lass, Salt Daltizer on the court. Sunrise, of course, will come pressure. 18 seconds to work. Mason Alford, the inbounder. He'll look. Gets it to Nate Leiby. Double team fouled immediately with 17 seconds left. So design play to try to get Nate the great open. He is 5 of 6 here in the ball game. He is 16, let's see, he was 10 of 10 on Tuesday and 5 of 6 today. So uh, he is a good guy to have at the stripe. And he and Dalton Altizer with a quick 
laugh at half court. You could see very relaxed Nate Lighton to see if he could knock him down. Either one, huge, because it makes it a two-possession game. Lighty with nine points in the contest. First free throw is short. He does have another one coming. 17 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. The Tigers lead it by three. This to make it a two-possession ball game by the junior Nate Lighty. Free throw up. Free throw. Perfect. Lighty's got ten. And the Tiger lead is four. 14 seconds left. Down court done. Again for three. Misses badly. Inside field back up. And he's fouled. And they will give a chance at a three-point play to the Sunrise Buffaloes. And the Tigers got caught with an offensive board on a wild three-point shot. And it will be a chance at a three-point play. The lead down to two. Nine and a half seconds left. And Kobe Fields will be at the free throw stripe. That is his first bucket of the game. And it comes just inside 10 seconds. Again, the Tigers have a two-point advantage. One free throw coming here. Box out, obviously vital. Free throw up and Banks it in. Banks in a three and really gives a quiet sign to the crowd when you bank a three in. Wow, 49-48, nine and a half seconds left. Phil, we got a full timeout here, take it. Let's send it over for an update. All right, 502 left in the ball game. Free ball on the way for Washington County, and Hoover cannot hit it. It's 48-46, puts and wide with the lead. Here comes the three, Zach Sorrell, and he buries it. That is back-to-back threes from Zach Sorrell, and Clifton Clyde has gone up five. They lead 51-46, 4.30 left in this ballgame, Rocky. Wow, what a battle that is. You've had some good wins. I know you've had a couple that got away, but they have been some really good ones today over at the uh, TVO given Washington. All right, 49, 48. Who would have thought it would be easy? Well, nobody right now for the Tigers, but they are in the position to get this done. They had led by four before that last possession. Kofi Fields, i got to go back. The, there's a big crowd here from... Wichita Life Academy, obviously a big rival, and they were uh, certainly cheering for the Tigers, and he banked in a free throw and then gave a whisper to the crowd of, shh, <laughs> 49-48. Mason Allberg, home run throw down court for Parker Folks, catch over the shoulder, goes up, no foul, but all ties are there to knock it down. The Tigers lead by three from half court with one second. Counts if it goes. Tigers have won it. Folks didn't get a foul called, but Dalton Altizer was there to clean it up and kiss it in, and the Tigers have done it 51-48 in come-from-behind fashion here in Hillsboro. 51-48 your final. I'm going to take a 30-second timeout clip. We'll give you a final here, a look at scoring, and we'll get a finish over in the TVL after this. Is it time for a new car, truck, or SUV? Do you want to get out from a high car payment into something you can actually afford? Whether well, you want a new vehicle or an upgraded pre-owned vehicle, Blame Ford of Clay Center has got the best selection around. We'll take your trade and give you more than anybody else will because it's worth more to us. Take a look at our inventory online at GlavenFordOfClayCenter.com or stop by our lot and see for yourself. We are located in downtown Clay Center, Glavin Ford of Clay Center, home of the engines and oil changes. Just for life. A final here in Hillsborough. We're going to get you over for bonus coverage with Washington County. Clifton Clyde's a good one. But for the Tigers, this is a gutty, gutty win, to say the least. And that is an understatement. Uh, through some adversity with Anthony Atkins, and a couple of uh, phantom calls that just really turned things at, at, at a couple of times in the ball game. Then a fifth foul call when he picked up a technical. But the Tigers dug deep and just found a way. Two Nate Lindy steals back to back were huge. The Connor last few times, but one late offensive rebound. Dalton Altizer, eight second-half points, and always steady Big Daddy with 15 Parker folks. The Tigers get this done 51-48. They will play at 1 o'clock tomorrow for fifth place here in the high school gymnasium, and we don't know their opponent yet. Actually, we do. It's Life Prep, who beat Riley County earlier, despite 26 points from T.J. Fritz, by the way, that game. Here it is. The Tigers led by Parker folks 15, Nate Lively with 10, Dalton Altizer, 8, Six each, Connor Last and Anthony Atkinson. Any team, you get two each from Dylan Moon, Brigham Glaze, Mason Alberg. All points, all big 
for this one. And the second one of the season comes with the Tigers in the Constellation Semis here on this Friday night. 51-48, your final. We'll take a timeout, send it over to Phil Casper at the TVL next. For any concrete project you need for a residential driveway, basement, patio, or curb, you can count on Midwest Products to handle it. At every level of the job, you'll find a dedicated, skilled crew prepared to deliver a professional job. With state-approved plants in Hanover, Play Center, Lynn, and Washington, they can meet the needs of residential, commercial, or farm-related projects. For other ready-mix concrete work, give Midwest Products a call at 800-371-2252. Look to the red and white checkerboard of Purina for quality feeds for your livestock. Purina feeds are formulated with the proper nutrition to meet your animal's physiological and production needs. Checkerboard feeds are tested, proven, and balanced correctly for your animal's stage of growth. Couple Purina feeds with your farmer's cooperative feed experts, and you have a recipe for success. Contact a farmer's cooperative animal nutrition consultant today. Investing in our owner's success. Farmer's cooperative. Well, from here, Hillsboro to Washington County, and uh, Dave Savage, I'm going to put you on. I know you're just listening, but you've got the headset on, so you're with me, buddy. Great one in uh, for the Clay Center Tigers in Hillsboro, and a great one here. Clifton Clyde has gone out in front, 51-48. Here's a long three from Zach Sorelli. Hit back-to-back. Missed that one. Rebound to Barnes. And 250 left in the game. Clifton Clyde leads three. And this crowd, Dave, is into it. Both sides. Both sides. And now foul's going to be called, I think, on Jacob Lotta from the reaction. And that, uh, that's going to be on Carson Talkington, his second. Bradley Cook has fouled out for the Eagles. So inbound for Clifton Clyde. Inbound to Cordell Sear in the lane. Can't get it to go. Big rebound, Dawson Miller. Talkington, right side, Hoover, drives, baseline, yes. 51-50, two and a half minutes left. In the lane, other end, Starbineau answers. Caleb Starbineau for two. And it's 53-50, Clifton Clyde. Washington County has taken this to a nine-point lead. And Clifton Clyde got themselves back. Now a three, Lotta, and he nails it. Jacob Lotta with a three from the right wing, and it's tied other end now. Here we go, Clifton Clyde has it. Michael Sear at the top of the key, 53-53, a minute 50. Sorrell, right wing, man-to-man defense. From Clifton Clyde, Sorrell, left elbow for two, no, rebound, loose, and Clifton Clyde's going to get it back. Jacob Lotta had it, lost it, and Clifton Clyde wants a timeout. Minute 35 left in this ballgame, 53-53 when we come back. Hi, this is Maribeth Connor from the Citizens National Bank. Don't fall victim to the fraud that is happening all around. It may come in the form of an email, a phone call, or something received in the mail. Remember, if you're ever contacted and asked to send money or to give your personal information, do not do it. If you have concerns about something you have received, bring it in and we'll take a look at it with you or contact the authorities to alert them as to what has taken place. Your safety is very important to us. The Citizens National Bank, Downtown Clay Center. Member FDIC. A message from Geisler Roofing and Home Improvement in Concordia. Replace your drafty windows with top-of-the-line performance and energy-efficient windows from Geisler Roofing and Home Improvement. New windows could save you 25% on your energy bill. Learn more at GeislerRoofing.com. This is Dallas Hassenbank, and Geisler Roofing and Home Improvement has you covered with more than 37 years' experience. Geisler Roofing and Home Improvement, we've got you covered. Well, we've got a good one here in Washington, and why not, Dave? 53-53, a great one in Hillsboro. We've seen pretty good games all day, and now this has turned into an unbelievable game. Well, there's nothing disappointing about this game. There's a lot of action on the court. It's a pretty physical game out there. It's a very physical game. Both crowds really into it right now. Austin Berry has it for the Eagles, guarded by Eaton. Now Sorrell. Near the corner. 
Sorrell back to Barry. Now Sorrell, minute 15. To Fahey. Sorrell on the left baseline. Now drives baseline. Kicks it to Charbonneau. Back out to Sear. Nothing inside. Here's Barry. Back to Fahey. Underneath. Sorrell puts the shot up, won't go. Tied up, and they're going to call a foul on Dawson Miller. And that is going to send Michael Sear to the line shooting two. Boy, it looks like a tie-up to me, Dave. But, again, that's the opposite end of the court. Exactly. I thought it was a tie-up. should have been a jump ball, but I'm quite a ways yeah, away. quite a ways away, too. So, Sear will go to the line. That's just three on, on Miller. Sears free throw, rims out. Well, he's going to have one more. Second one on the way in. So Michael Sear hits one of two. And Washington County with a lot of walks it down. 44 seconds, 54-53, Clifton Clyde lead. There's Hoover on the baseline, can't get it to go. Rebound, Dawson Miller, put back, won't go. Knocked out of there by Hoover. Back to Lotta with 31, and now a jump ball called. As Dobby and Sorrell got tied up, and this is going to be possession to Clifton Clyde. 31 seconds left in this ball game. 54-53. Listen, Clyde leads when we come back. TSI Kansas, located here in Clay Center, is your full-service diesel repair facility. Our three-bay shop is large enough to hold your truck and trailer during repairs. We can provide you with a range of services to meet your needs. Tire sales, repairs, oil changes, batteries, computer diagnostics, and more. Our skilled mechanics have the knowledge and the experience to meet your needs at a fair price. Call TSI Kansas at 785-632-5183. With fall harvest in the bin, it's time to plant next season's bumper crop with oldie seed, corn, and soybean varieties. We take pride in the latest technology. Oldie will be one of the first to bring our family of producers the latest extend, Liberty Link, and enlist soybean varieties. This season, if you want to give your fields a big wildcat first down, plant a high-performance corn or soybean variety from Oldie Seed, proud sponsor of Kansas State football. Well, on the tie, on the tie up, this is going to go to Clifton Clyde. Washington County will press. 31 seconds left. Clifton Clyde leads one. Charbonneau inbound, trying to get it in. Now does to Sorrell. Sorrell cross court to Charbonneau to Barnes. They're going to foul Barnes. It'll be Jared Hoover fouling Barnes. This will just be a one and one. Matt Barnes with seven points and just one and one here. Nine fouls on Cliff and Clyde, eight now on Washington County. 26 seconds. Barnes free throw, good. Getting a lot of help from the opposing crowd, but bangs at home anyway, and bangs home the second. So 56-53, 22 seconds. Here's Lotta. Get past Rice, Hoover, driving baseline. Puts the shot up, no, off the mark, batted around. Dobby has it, in the lane, puts it up, won't get it to go. Hoover, rebound, put back by Hoover, no, that won't go. Rebound, Gobby, put back with four. Yes, he gets it, 56-55. So three seconds left, and it's 56-55. Let's take a 30-second timeout. Bring you back for the finish after this. 
customer satisfaction is the number one goal at Ray's Apple Market. And with the ever-changing product lines, along with the changing needs of today's families, it's a real challenge, but a challenge they're happy to take on throughout the store, from the produce department to the frozen foods, and from the meat and dairy departments to the bakery and deli. They work to keep up with the current food trends while continuing their old-fashioned values of great customer service. Shop your community-minded, locally-owned Ray's Apple Market. Well, three seconds left, Dave, 56-55, Washington County trailing one, timeout. You know they're going to foul right now. Yeah, immediately. I mean, immediately. They cannot allow anything to run off of that clock. So we'll see what Cliff and Clyde does. Now, sometimes you'll see a baseball pass down just to try to get some time off the clock. Exactly. Bounce it around the other end, get rid of the three seconds, and, and go home. So three seconds, you may see that. Two guys stand at center court. That's Sear. And Cordell Sear and Nathan Sear in to Matt Barnes and 1.7 seconds left. And Barnes heads to the line. And he can ice this. So Matt Barnes hit his last two. He has nine. And now this is still one and one. So still one and one. So even if he misses Washington County, it's going to take a prayer. Free throw up and down. And Matt Barnes may have ice running through his veins. Second one, boom. And Matt Barnes hits both of them. 58 55, 1.7 seconds left. We're going to keep it right here. There's a 30 second timeout on the floor, but we'll keep it right here. So 1.7, Dave. And they got to go the length of the court. Got to go the length of the court. It's got to be a three. It's going to just be a prayer. It They've got to get it off clean. Cliff and Clyde cannot foul. We saw that ca- called in the game last night or the night before, which they're starting to run together on me, but we saw it right before half, a prayer shot and a foul. Then they went to the line and drained three. They drained three. So, and you know, that can happen. So if you're Cliff and Clyde, you've got to give them a little room but right. you still want to defend. But you know, you know, the pass is going to go as far down as they can get got it here. To. It has to. Yep. So Cliff and Clyde will put Gobby and Miller down by the basket. Hoover and Lotta up front. Eaton will inbound. Eaton, baseball pass, half court. Miller, lot of good if it goes, and no. Clifton Clyde is going to win this thing 58 to 55. Let's take a 30 second timeout, bring you back, finish up after this. What happened? This house is too small. So let's buy a new house. But we can't afford a new house. Money doesn't grow on trees. That's why we'll go to United Bank and Trust. I heard they have low mortgage rates that are affordable for everyone. Well, then let's go right now. Stop and see me, Maria Fitzemeyer, or me, Carla Sweet, at United Bank and Trust to talk about getting your new home loan process started. Or visit us online at ubankonline.com. United Bank and Trust. Banking for your way of life. Equal housing lender. Member FDIC. Well, that's a heck of a way to cap off the second to the last day of the TVL, 58-55. Clifton Clyde, minor upset of Washington County. I don't think in their mind it's an upset to them. You know, I told you they came to play against Hanover and pushed them for two quarters, 34-31 at half, and they come in tonight and they beat Washington County on their court. They did. And Washington County, they started out great the first half. They, they, They came out, they were hitting well. The second half... They kind of slowed down some. They didn't quit, quite make the percentages they did the first half. And got Clifton Clyde stepped it up. Well, Clifton Clyde stepped it up, and they started hitting some shots. Let's, let's look at scoring for Washington County. 11 from Levi Gobby. 10, Jared Hoover. Dawson Miller with 8. It was a 9 for Jay Eaton, and then 5 for Jacob Lotta. For Clifton Clyde, it was 11 for Matt Barnes. Those last four free throws, none bigger than that. 9. For Zach Sorrell, he hit back-to-back threes late in the game that got Clifton Clyde that lead. And then uh, six for Nathan Oldie, five for Michael Sear, four each 
for Bradley Cook, Sean Fahey, and Jacob Stenberg. Clifton Clyde wins it 58-55. You heard earlier, Clay Center Tiger boys win it. They'll play tomorrow afternoon at 1. We'll be back here tomorrow morning at 10 at some point. Hopefully Dave will be alongside with me again. I uh, will be back tomorrow. Dave, I appreciate you coming in. For Rocky Downing in Hillsburg, Dave Savage here in Washington with me. Studio engineers today were Hannah Byers and Bernie Fancella. Case the OI Sports. I'm Phil Casper.